I can kind of understand the backlash when it comes to Vince McMahon's allegations based on how uh, blue-pilled the wrestling fan base is. I can understand, very much understand, the backlash that The Rock is getting for supplanting Cody Rose and main eventing WrestleMania 40. But the cancellation of Brock Lesnar after he wasn't even named in this stupid Janelle Grant lawsuit? That one... I do understand. I do understand because there was only sort of a, you know, tepid appreciation for what Brock Lesnar has done for the company. You know, his unceremonious exit back in 2004 and then his intermittent returns, leaving and coming back ever since. What would that end up being? 2012 and, you know, his generally isolationist approach to media, the press, and their ability to just go ahead and further these types of stories. It does make a lot more sense. It doesn't mean that I have to like it or appreciate it, but I will go ahead and defend the guy vociferously because what apparently he was doing doesn't warrant this type, or this type of treatment, especially for everything that he has done both in his initial 22, uh, 2002, 2004, and now in his modern day run. Like, Brock Lesnar is a legend. Like, he is one of the best performers in Fed history, bar none. Like, doesn't get enough credit for how good he is between the ropes. And the fact that his, the plan, okay, the plan for him at WrestleMania 40, since been squandered because he's been taken out of this supercard gotcha game, okay, apparently being downplayed or maybe even removed from WWE 2K24. The fact that they're trying to black hole, pun somewhat intended, Brock Lesnar off the back of this a stupid ass lawsuit. He was supposed to, probably for Elimination Chamber, work Rey Mysterio's kid who's getting a hell of a lot of heat right now. And then he was going to be working Valter at Mania 40 in the ultimate you-can-go-big-guy match. Bro, Like I wasn't excited for anything that could have possibly been announced for that card. Save for that one match, because that would have been fucking awesome. But now it's gone. But now it's gone. Just because some bitch was tired of not getting all of the cash and prizes that she used to. Un goddamn believable. It totally is in 2024 because nobody ever learns from the Amber Herds of the world who just so blatantly and obviously got exposed for the type of shit that they were pulling. Nope. Still, believe all women. Hell, I would argue that we're probably in a point in time right now that we're doubling down on this nonsense. But Brock Lesnar's content has been removed from WWE Supercard Game published by 2K Games. BW Insider was the first to report of Lesnar's content has been pulled from their digital collect collectible game uh, published by 2K and available on mobile platforms, adding their report uh, that they had confirmed the news. Insiders report the site's sources stating that Lesnar is expected to be downplayed as much as possible going forward by 2K and potentially other licenses. 2K's WWE 2K24 console game is scheduled for a March 8th release date, which will be very interesting. News comes on the heels of Lesnar's implication, implication in allegations, allegations from a civil clout chasing, bag chasing lawsuit. Unbelievable. Lawsuit filed by Janelle Grant alleged that Mr. McMahon did a bunch of crazy things that she was all too complicit in until a point in time came where her affair with McMahon got exposed and he cut her off. But okay, okay, Lesnar was implicated in a civil lawsuit seeking unspecified damages, but... What was, what was Lesnar's role in any of this stuff? What was it alleged that maybe this was Lesnar? Maybe this was Brock doing some things? Like, let's get to the bottom of this, okay? If it's true, which I highly doubt, was being done against her will. Did it happen? Maybe. Is this an ex post facto? Oh, I was, so, I was, so, I was doing all of this stuff against my will. Yeah, trying to wash the, re or trying to pick the rest of the corn out of your hair in your brand new 2002 or 22 BMW, you, anyways, new Janelle Grant, Brock Lesnar, a video emerges, this is not really video, okay, I just wanted to get some of the clips and more of the context, uh, concerning a video emerged online this week amid the recent lawsuit filed by ex-WWE employee Janelle Grant against Vince McMahon and the company that formerly, or formerly employed her, well, the sordid details of Grant's legal action against all parties involved in the matter of public record at this point, one unexpected consequence of the lawsuit has been Brock Lesnar be coming entangled in it yeah exactly and his name like the brock lesnar name 
isn't mentioned at all in the lawsuit, and he's out here catching strays, like career-ending strays. Ridiculous. As part of her claims against McMahon and the Fed, uh, Grant alleged that she was trafficked in an effort to lure in a former UFC star. You, that, that's all that's in there. A former UFC star at the company was actively attempting to court. The Wall Street Journal, a p- piss on their name, identified the talent in question as Lesnar. Of course they did. Can you corroborate that? Nope. We're journalists. Fuck off. In July of 2021, the suit said McMahon instructed Grant to create personalized content for a WWE superstar that he was trying to re-sign. The suit didn't name the professional wrestler, but described him as both a UFC fighter and WWE talent. I would have my lawyers on speed dial right now countersuing this bitch into fucking oblivion because you didn't even have the decency to name the motherfucker. But you allege that you were in communications with him and you were so butthurt over those. I don't think that has anything to do with the personalized content that he was requesting. Er, requesting. People familiar with the matter identified the wrestler as Brock Lesnar, one of WWE's biggest names. Lesnar didn't immediately respond Thursday to request for comment because he was too busy going... <sighs> I'm going to go farm or something. I'm going to go plow some fucking snow in Saskatchewan. Piss off. Uh, the suit said McMahon shared explicit photos with the star and informed Grant that he likes what he sees. It must have been before. It must have been after the augmentation. I would imagine. After the star agreed to a new contract, uh, McMahon texted Grant in August of 2021 to say part of the deal is he was fucking you. I'm sure. I'm sure that was written. That was probably on, what, page 68 of the contract? It would be a little bit too on the nose to put on page 69. That December, McMahon gave Grant personal cell phone number of a WWE star, the lawsuit says. Now the wrestler asked her to send a video of herself urinating, the suit says. All right, Brock. And after she did, okay, uh, called her a bitch. Oh my God, oh my God, called her, oh my God, she pissed, and she, he called her a bitch. End this man's career off like yo uh, the type of pee and shit is fucking weird but bro come on that same month the suit st- or the suit said the star expressed a desire to set up a play date but the snowstorm disrupted his travel plans so he didn't even hit and he's getting canceled the fuck as per the lawsuit grant's interaction with the ufc star in question was particularly disturbing i'm sure more disturbing than getting shitted on while getting fucked and then the guy who shit on you took a shower, came back, continued to fuck more disturbing than that. Come on now. That night, McMahon texted uh, Ms. Grant a reminder that she was uh, an enslaved object to him. Don't want to go ahead and provide those text messages or your responses to it. I want to drive you lower and lower, so low you might beg me to sell you. Ah, pillow talk. McMahon continued to advise, uh, oh, to advertise a sexual encounter with Ms. Grant, a WWE superstar, during the formal negotiation of a booking contract with WWE. Yeah, that's not exactly my jam at all whatsoever, but there's other things in that lawsuit, like Vince, I don't know, potentially being a cuck, wanting to see his chicks with other people, like, the fuck is wrong with wrestling, okay? Like, in general. Like, he had Hulk Hogan brother brothering one of his best friend's wives at his approval fucking business is weird dude but yeah apparently this is one of those very legit very real text messages we can go ahead and take it at face value if you want but these are one of the ones that was provided in the lawsuit not the ones you know where all the worst things are alleged interesting Here, here's here's what a uh, blanked out name said after i, I told you that uh, part of the deal was the fucking you lol that's your turf uh she will be ruined after me and to leave your ass uh, this is boys being boys right there come on now there he is advertising his girlfriend, which is apparently in the know, at least among the boys, and the cropped out response. Yeah, plus, after me, your tool won't fit anymore. Very strange band between the boys, and then five boomer laughing cry emojis. But yeah, the rest of the lawsuit that is clipped out. In December of 2021, McMahon gave Ms. Grant's personal cell phone number to the WWE superstar and promised she'll do anything requested of her. All right. In the days that followed, the Fed superstar uh, revealed a fetish to Ms. Grant and tested McMahon's promise that Ms. Grant would do anything with a request that she send a video of herself urinating. Unable to recognize herself, oh my god, editorializing, fuck off, uh, Ms. Grant went numb and obeyed. I 
I'm sure she did. WWE Superstar informed Ms. Grant if she had not complied with the request, WWE Superstar would have lost any interest in her and then called her a bitch. Oh no, it's terrible. That same month, WWE Superstar expressed to Ms. Grant his desire to set a play, and then it cuts off their play date, right, obviously. In the aftermath of those claims going viral, a video began to circulate of Terry Runnels describing an unfortunate interaction she had with Lesnar. Okay, what is this, just a clip from an old shoot video, or an old shoot interview? Sure. Uh, Brock was very new in the business, and he exposed himself to me at the Insurrection pay-per-view like a real dick. I remember that night, I was doing interviews, I was backstage, and I hear my name called, and Brock was in the room. Dustin was in, oh yeah, uh, Goldust, his, or her ex-husband, and flashed her, okay? It's a bunch of half-naked guys and half-naked women working together. Insurrection, what was that, 2002? That might have been the pay-per-view right before the plane ride from hell. If you know, you know, and if you don't, well, that's another story for another time. I actually touched on that briefly when I did a Ric Flair video back when that stupid Vice fucking Dark Side of the Ring episode dropped. Gotta hate wrestling journalism. Uh, Brock said, yeah, very new to the business. Uh, Dustin was in the room, my ex-husband at the time. He still would be. And Brock did the whole thing. I know, sold it. Yeah, I went to my dressing room. Uh, Dustin came in. He was like, don't sell it. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to sell it. Meaning react to it. I didn't sell it. Not gonna, in other words, let it lie. Leave it alone. This is a massive, massive scandal for the Fed. Yeah, it is. Uh, Lesnar was set to return at the Royal Rumble. Like I said, do something with Dominic. I don't think show him his penis or anything like that. Brock likes piss, not boys, as far as I know. So there could be another spurious lawsuit that comes out and it alleges a bunch of other crazy shit. And then, of course, and then, of course, the squandered Valter program, which, I don't know, would have been interesting because that potentially could have been the first time that Brock would have been going after a championship throughout his entire run as a professional wrestler. Not for the top title, but adding more legitimacy to an already... Kind of a stagnant championship run. Very strange what is happening with the Intercontinental Belt, but Valter's Valter and Valter's great. Fuck Gunther. Ooh, you touch my tra-la-la, which is actually all what this lawsuit is about. So it actually would have been quite a fitting program. And yeah, maybe we'll eventually build back to that after, you know, maybe some truth from the other side of this equation comes out. But we'll have to see. Or if this just ends up ending Brock Lesnar's career as another person executed at the altar of Me Too and never, ever, ever making women be responsible for their previous actions. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I'm Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.